Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live. The Ebola virus is, of course, getting worse around the world. And, of course, the demand, even in the United States, for travelers not to be allowed to come into the United States from West Africa has also been seen in protest in Washington, D.C. In fact, recently, Homeland Security in the United States has banned all incoming flights of uh, five different Western African nations into the United States with the exception of five airports, uh, including uh, some of those included are, of course, JFK and Atlanta's uh, Heathrow National Air Airport there where they are prepared to screen those passengers coming in. Also, in another article that we were uh, watching here today in um, the Wall Street Journal, it says Ebola studies projects the spread of the virus or will, will occur in overseas flights, showing that it is only a matter of time before borders may be shut down even internationally. They say, they say here in the article, up to three Ebola-infected people could embark on overseas flights every month from the three most infected African countries, according to the new study that projected travel patterns based on the infections rate uh, and recent flight schedules. But then again, of course, the one issue that I have brought up myself is will President Barack Obama actually send National Guard troops into these infected areas that would also put American families at risk at bringing the virus back home, seeing there is a 42-day incubation period with the Ebola virus. It is something that should be of grave concern. And then again, we can't help but wonder, how did the virus begin in the first place? Is this something that just comes naturally through the animals? Or could it be an international plan in order to be able to lock down the borders to be able to bring about a new world order. I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live.